fun to follow you. <laughs> I'm gonna make a fruity jelly mooncake. Before I start, I hope you will click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to help build my channel for those who have not done so. Thank you everybody. So let's get started. The ingredients for the orange jelly will be sun quick orange juice, three and a half tablespoon. If you want a more concentrated flavouring, then you put 4 tablespoons. For the low-fat milk, you need 2 cups. You need about 1.5 cup of water, 2.5 tablespoon of sugar. Here with me is a mixture of cornstarch 2 teaspoon, instant jelly 2.5 teaspoon, and agar agar powder, it's around 3 teaspoon. The ingredients for the clear jelly will be a mixture of 400 ml of water plus about 200 ml of peach juice from the can. If you don't have peach juice, you can always use calamine sea lime juice and put a little bit of simple syrup to sweeten it. Two tablespoons of sugar, two and a half teaspoon of agar powder, instant jelly. Also two and a half. For jelly, I'll be using peaches, which is a canned peaches, about two oranges. The second layer of the clear jelly portion will be the orange peel, two tablespoons. And then here the chia seed, I'm going to put in about four tablespoons. Before you start uh, making the jelly, it's best you make sure all your molds do not have leakage. Fill the mold with water. I'll leave it on a table like this for a while. It takes about one minute or so to find whether that it leaks or not. If there are leakage, then the water will reduce in one of these molds. This water, you can go to the next mold and leave it like this wet. Don't, don't need to dry it up. Repeat for all the rest of the mold. First, I'll be opening the can of peaches as I need to drain the fruits. I don't need all the peaches in here as I only need three halves, which is one and a half peaches. And let this uh, drain for about five to ten minutes. Cut the peaches into wedges to fit into the small ring of the mooncake mold. If it's too long, it will protrude out. We don't want that. Each um, mooncake will have about three pieces. Cut this up. Just peel off the skin. Take the segment of this oranges from the membrane. And also, don't forget the seed. You have to remove the seed. I think if you don't want to put orange segment, it's also fine. Cooking the clear jelly. Don't turn on the flame. So I'm going to pour this in. And I'm going to add in the sugar, instant jelly and the agar agar powder. Stir it before it comes up. Make sure the sugar is uh, almost melted, then only you will shift on the flame. So until it comes to a boil, I'm adding uh, about 100 ml of water because I find it's quite thick here. So all in 700 ml of water. Out of this liquid, you're going to allocate about 300 ml of uh, jelly uh, to be mixed with the chia seeds and the orange peels. This is for the chia seed. One, two, three, four tablespoon. And then I'm gonna add in the orange peels to give it the orangey flavoring. Mm. This is right taste. So I'll switch off. Let's do the remaining uh, jelly. So I'm gonna pour in the, the peaches. Stir it in for a while only because we want the water from the peaches to be infused into this jelly, otherwise, it will sweat. So, once it comes back to a boil, you can switch off. So, for the jelly, I'm going to spoon three slices of peaches into the jelly mold. Now, it shouldn't cover more than half. 
I'll leave it a while then proceed to fill up the rest first before we put in the chia seeds so I'm going to layer with the chia seeds already had the layered jelly and I think it's already firming so now I'm going to cook the orange jelly cooking the orange jelly now we start by mixing this uh, sugar and the powder mix it together before we add into the water I'm pouring in one and a half cup of water and use a whisk to help you to stir pour in the sugar and the powder now do not on the heat stir it until the powder has dissolved so now only you turn on the heat let it come to a boil Meanwhile, I'm measuring the milk. Try to use a low-fat milk because you won't get so much uh, oil. So measure about two cups. Measure four tablespoons of Sunquick orange. Shake the bottle first before you measure. Now these are concentrate, so we are using four tablespoons. I'm also having some fresh orange here. So here is about one and a half. You can see the color has come to a very rich yellow. Once it comes to a boil, you can add in the milk. Then we have to taste it because uh, the sweetness might vary. This is the texture, quite thick. Mm. The jelly is very creamy. It has just the right sweetness. It's not too sweet and it's not very sour either. It has a slight tangy taste to it. You wouldn't want the milk to boil. You notice the bubble forming at the side here? This is when you switch it off. Well, I use this cup to help me to pour into the, the jelly. Go a bit faster because the jelly tends to gel up very fast and fill it to the brim so one cup can actually fill about four if you have bubbles like this you can break it up slowly shift it away and then continue filling the rest until all juice has finished this recipe can yield up to 16 fruity jelly moon cakes this has been setting in the fridge for about an hour and now I'm gonna unmold it Use a skewer like this, press on one side, opposite side, press it, and if you want, you go to the four corners, then use a plate, just overturn it, press on it, wow! it immediately, so you have one mooncake like that. So I have a box of mooncake to be sent to friends. So let's taste. See the tree layer, the chia seed, the fruit layer, and the orange layer. Isn't it pretty? And uh, you notice the pudding layer is also very smooth. Let's take a bite. Mm. Very good, savory, sweet. The bottom is creamy, but the top is a bit mm, chewy. So, I hope you will try it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and share. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell if you have not done so. Thank you, everybody, and thank you for watching. Bye! Fun to follow you.